Hello, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today I'm here to plan out the week of Monday, April 20th through Sunday, April 26th in my Moxie Life Vertical Planner. This was supposed to be Go Wild week. For those of you who are new to the planner community or may not have heard of it before, Go Wild is an annual planner conference. It's held in a different city every year. The past cities that we've been to are New Orleans, Nashville, Austin, and Vegas. And this year, this week, we were supposed to be headed to Los Angeles, technically Anaheim to celebrate the fifth year of Go Wild, which was going to be an incredible celebration and I was gonna get to see all of my friends and just, it is just very sad that it had to get postponed for a number of reasons. I feel so much for the coordinators of the event trying to deal with all of the, the logistics that go into postponing such a huge, huge event. But it is one of my favorite weekends every year. I have a vlog from last year's event, which I'll link below if you're curious sort of what it entails. But to to celebrate Go Wild Week, I'm going to do a mostly purple week. Purple is the Go Wild signature color, and I have this Erin Condren sticker sheet from uh, actually, I'm not sure how many Go Wilds ago. I've had it for a while, but I'm planning to use this and then pull in some extra stickers. These are from Pasco Wilds, some Chrissy Ann Designs stickers, and then otherwise, it's just gonna be a bunch of purple. So I'm excited to still do a tribute to Go Wild, even though we will not be there this week. I didn't wanna use my actual sticker kit. If you watched the haul video that I put up over the weekend, it was actually a bonus video, I got new stickers, a new Chrissy Ann Designs sticker kit for Go Wild, but I'm gonna save those for when we do get to go for when it's postponed, because they all say like, you know, Southern California, Planaheim, et cetera. So I figured an all purple week would just, would be a sufficient ode to Go Wild. Let me know down in the comments if you have ever been to Go Wild. How many have you been to? Which cities were you at? Uh, and what your favorite thing was about it? It's it's a, a really special weekend. It's hard to describe. It, I'm just, I'm very sad. I've been to every single one and I will still be at Go Wild in Southern California. Although next year is a little bit more difficult for me in terms of vacation days, as you can imagine, with a wedding and a honeymoon, etc. But I will be there. So that is going to be the bottom. I did this exact same thing last week where I had the Erin Condren sticker strip here and then was able to use this space to journal. So I just decided to stick with the same, same thing this week. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is put the weather. I will say I haven't been as good about going outside every day. I was trying to at least go for a walk every single day to get some fresh air and that was kind of why I was putting the weather down, but I will tell you last week that is not true. When the workday was over, I just immediately wanted to relax and enjoy my day, and so I wasn't going for a walk. I'm starting to think maybe I'll try walking in the morning for a much shorter period of time than, than I was trying to do it. I don't know. I just, I can't find a time of day that works for me. During lunch, it feels too rushed. By the time I'm done with work, I don't really want to do it. And in the morning, I still wanna work out and do my normal workout routine, which I talked about in the weekly vlog. But I, I could still take 15, 20 minutes after I finish my workout and go outside and go for a walk and then, and then get started with my day and then sh shower, like do it in my workout clothes. I don't know yet, to be determined. All right, speaking of working out, the next thing is putting down the workout stickers. So I found these purple ones. I like, I really like the shade of purple, so I'm gonna do this one for the weekdays and then a lighter purple for the weekends. Purple is definitely one of those hard colors when it comes to stickers to match, it feels like, whether it's like a cool toned purple or a warm toned purple. I briefly mentioned it, but I did talk in last week's weekly vlog all about my workout routine. So if you're curious on what workouts I'm doing and how I'm kind of staying motivated in that regards, I recommend you checking out last week's weekly vlog. It's right at the very beginning of the vlog. All right, the next thing I'm gonna do is put down a quarter box sticker to mark how I'm spending my lunch hour. I talked about this in another plan with me, but this routine is, is really sort of working for me. So in the mornings, I try to just get my workout in and not worry about trying to do anything else productive or make use of my morning time. Besides like, I get up, I read, I journal. That's all in my recent day in the life video. But instead of trying to squeeze something productive into that time that I would have gotten ready and commuted, I'm just kind of enjoying a more relaxing like breakfast routine where I like enjoy my shower and then I 
make breakfast and enjoy that with Sam and just kind of relax. But then during lunch, I do try to get something done because I'm already kind of in a productive mindset from work. I try to just keep that up and continue working, so to speak, during lunch, but I work on something personal. It's usually editing a video, something YouTube related. All right, now I need the full boxes to mark the time that I'm at work. And I'm gonna use these, I haven't decided yet. I definitely wanna use the purple one and the black one. I just don't know if the pink one is gonna be like too much pink and then I wanna definitely use these two. It's whether or not I wanna use this teal one, like which is gonna stand out more, this other teal one or this pink one. And then in these boxes, I can put picture, maybe pictures from older Go Wilds or just like memories from those prior Go Wilds. Yeah, I think the pink is just gonna be too much. So I'm gonna try doing the three kind of teal boxes and then and skipping the pink one and just see how that looks. The black might look a little bit kind of crazy on its own too, but I feel like once all the pen is down, the black will fit in more than the pink will because it's, you know, all the ink will be, will be black. I actually wish this one wasn't so teal and I would include all four of these boxes and do like a memory from each of the prior four Go Wilds um, and like have it set, you know, and do like each day. Maybe I'll do that on Instagram and do like a memory from each of the Go Wilds, like Monday through Thursday or Tuesday through Friday or something like that. I kind of like that idea. All right, now I'm gonna put down some half boxes to mark like the evening times. I grabbed a bunch of different half boxes just to kind of see if any of these purples would match. This light colored one might look okay. Just trying to pull in some some different shops. I feel like I use a lot of Chrissy and Designs and it's not a bad thing. It's just, I feel like it gets repetitive. Although these full boxes, I forget which shop this is. Oh, Pink Popsicle Studio. They are, they're a little bit bigger so they do go all the way to the edge. I don't know if I like the way that looks. Ooh, ooh. And that barely comes up off of there. The colors on these stickers are super, super vibrant though. Um, so I might just stick with these. There's this kind of more cool toned purple too. Oh, and there's these. No, I don't like the way those look. I went and grabbed this one. I'm just putting down a half box each day to mark how I'm gonna spend my evening time. Like I said, I haven't really been going for a walk after work at all in the evening. I've just been sort of shifting into however I'm gonna spend that time in the evening and then cooking dinner and then relaxing and watching something on TV. Uh, not on TV, we don't have cable, but like uh, watching a movie or a TV show or something with Sam. But I'm really okay with it right now and just getting that one thing done after work not only makes me feel like I'm doing something with my time outside of my nine to five, but Sam usually works later than I do. I can usually stop working pretty much right at five if I started on time. So I take, you know, an hour or two right after I'm done working to do something else. And then when he's done, then we can relax together. So that is what these half boxes are all for. And then I'm gonna do the same thing I did last week, although I'm gonna have to dip in to these gray ones. And that is Mark what we are watching at night. I think it'll just be fun to go back and look someday at what we watched each night during during this time. So I'm using an alternating of the gray and the purple. Eventually I'm gonna run out of these, but I really like the idea of just going back and I jot down whatever it is that we watched, whether it was a movie or a TV show. Um, and it's just, I don't know, it's fun to look back on. So. I figured I would use these again this week. It also kind of fills perfectly this space between the Erin Condren sticker sheet and the rest of my stickers. Like it all just it fits perfectly. Maybe I need to order some more of these stickers from Design Pandemonium. All right, before we move on to the weekend, I'm gonna put down a couple extra stickers. So Wednesday night, is my bubble bath night. So I'm gonna put down, I'm gonna use some of these stickers. I just realized like I have a lot of stickers and I was finding myself just like writing bubble bath there, but I have these stickers that say bubble bath. So I should use these, although oh, I just ripped that one. All right, try this again. These are super cute. These are from Bella Rose Paper Co. So I figured I'd put that there. And then here on Tuesday, I'm having 
a virtual happy hour with my friend Allison. So I'm gonna put this wine o'clock sticker from Libby and Co down to mark that. All right, and then on Friday I am just editing and this shade of purple matches perfectly. So I'm just gonna stick that there. Okay, so let's start with Saturday. I have a lot of sort of like smaller things to do on Saturday. So I kind of grabbed a bunch of like little ones. Well, not little, but like kind of half boxes. And then I grabbed this one to mark filming because that's kind of the only thing that will take the most time. And then this quarter box here to mark. This shade of purple isn't perfect, but it's it's good enough. Yeah, that'll work, okay. And then on Sunday, I grabbed this sort of checklist box because there's just a bunch of things that I want to get done on Sunday. And I also want to edit. And I also grabbed this page, like, flag to kind of fill in that space, I think. All right, I can't find the film stickers in this color scheme, so I don't know if I just don't have them. So I thought I'd try that purple, but I don't. I don't think that looks great. What about the black? That doesn't look great either. What about the white one? Mm, that's better. That's not too bad. I wish I had this shade of purple, but I can't find it or I didn't order it. I'm not actually sure which one it is, so I figured I would stop looking. All right, I don't really have any other little stickers that I wanna to use to decorate these stickers. I just can't, I couldn't find any that fit really what I wanted to mark or that were the right color scheme. So this, this weekend is just gonna be filled in with the pen. So that is it in terms of stickers. So now I'm gonna go in with the Microperm 03 since most of this is Chrissy and Designs and needs a permanent pen. You'll notice there are definitely some things in my planner this week that are moved over from last week. You'll hear more about this in next week's weekly vlog. I caught the cleaning bug this weekend and basically moved everything that was on my weekend plans for this weekend to next week or next weekend or eventually so that I could just basically clean our apartment from top to bottom over the weekend and it felt really good. So some of the things got moved over from this past weekend. All right, time for our weekly check-in. Let me know down in the comments, how are you doing? I know a lot of states this past week announced that schools are going to be closed for the rest of the year. I feel so, so much for the teachers and the students and the parents. I know that that just must be so difficult uh, for everybody involved. So let me know down in the comments how you're doing, how is your family doing? All right, that is it. I'm starting to feel a little bit repetitive when I write everything out for Sundays because it's become pretty much consistent that these are the things that I do on Sunday. So I might start in my planner just writing like Sunday prep and then in my daily planner list out all the things that I do as part of my Sunday prep. Actually, let me know down in the comments what is on your sort of list of things that you do every weekend. It can be on Sundays or maybe it's on Saturday, but that you try to do every single weekend to help you prepare for a better week. And so for me, that has been making sure that I do the meal plan on Sundays, making sure that I at least do these three things cleaning wise, the floors, change the litter box and change the sheets and then prepping the vlog. Those are the things I've just been consistently doing on Sundays that have felt really good and made me feel prepared for the week ahead. But that is gonna be it for this plan with me. I am very sad that this week does not have Go Wild in it. I, I mean, I'm excited to make progress on my goals, but man, I am going to miss seeing everybody and the magic that is Go Wild. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new here, please click that subscribe button. I upload new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Thank you so much for watching. Happy planning. Is it indescribable or undescribable? A oh my God, my grammar today. My mom is texting me and my watch is going off. Okay. I'm very sad that this planner, that this planner, that's how we meant.